Well, uh, good morning and welcome to another one of Saul's reviews. Now, it was supposed to be a fishy one today, um, but uh, I, I decided not to. Uh, reason why, well, I'll tell you why it was supposed to be an fishy one. Uh, this weekend gone, uh, myself and Anna uh, and, and our little one went to Scarborough for a couple of days as it was our anniversary weekend um, and on, on the last day on Sunday we went to Whitby which is a lovely, lovely little seaside town and there's a little shop that well there's a little workplace there called Fortunes and they, and they spoke they on kippers which they've done since 1800s and they use the same uh, wood shavings, which is beech and oak, it gives it that really distinctive flavour. Now, we bought some kippers, brought them back and put them in the freezer. And Thursday, this uh, um, yesterday, uh, we decided to have them for his breakfast. And it's the smell of the kippers stunk the kitchen out. Well, in fact, it stunk out the whole house. Um, don't smell so bad now. Uh, as much as bad as it did yes yesterday, but f oh um, but yeah, it did um, it smell. Uh, before we start, I nearly forgot. We'll do this again, as always. Disclaimer alert. Okay. This review holds no non absolutely no responsibility whatsoever. If your child children watches these reviews, may contain sexual and offensive language for snowflakes only. There you fucking go. Right, now we can swear and get away with it and without, without being told off. So, <clears throat> no fishy reviews today, um, which means there's no fishy puns, uh, which is a shame. Um, remember last time I mentioned about these, cut, these cutthroat razors? Well... I got some. I did. One thing I want the one I do like is the gold one. And I'll just get it out without cutting my fingers off. Oh look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Now I'm, I'm gonna teach myself and how to shave. Um, so now we can do it. Ha 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 ha. Training blade. Absolutely blunt. Look. Absolutely nothing. I could do that all day long. Absolutely nothing. It's a training blade. Um, so I'm going to teach myself on how to do a cut throat shave. Um, like I say, you learn by shaving balloons with the actual blade. Which is what those are there. That's the actual blade you use. And uh, I'm not I'm not doing a David on um, Conservation Street and wear the fucking leather leader hose and thingy fucking wears. But we'll see how it goes. If you see me with little tissues all over my face. Oh, uh, a big bandage around my neck. You know what I'm going down. You, you know what I'm going down so well. Right. So we're not doing the fishy review. We're going to do, um, an, obviously another review. Now, my boss, his surname is Jefferson. His nickname is Jaffa. Now, no offence, Ian. Okay. I'm not doing this to insult you or anything, but when I first heard the word Jaffa, I thought it meant you were seedless. No offence there. Please don't take offence to that. So, in homage of you, Ian, we thought I'd do the Jaffa cake. Hey, how's that? Now, these are the new ones. These are the lemon and lime Jaffa cakes. But before we do that... I want to introduce you to something. Okay, we have a bottle 
Oh yes we do. Vimtor Still Remix. Watermelon, strawberry and peach. Now, I love Vimto, absolutely love it. I really do, in fact, but I'll have to do it this way. Um, it's got one of those really distinctive flavours. That's what it looks like in a glass. Okay. Oh, God, you can really smell the watermelon in that. That is nice, but don't compare it to what original Vimto tastes like, because you will be disappointed. Um, still got that Vimto tanginess, for a better word. Uh, but if you're going to compare it to normal Vimto, don't. Okay, because obviously it's different flavours, different drink, but it is nice. No added sugar. So that it is. Vimto Remix still. So. Okay. Right, so. Homage to my boss. Jaffa. There you go, Jaffa Cakes. So, these are lemon and lime. Now, I think it's about. Now, I love Jaffa Cakes. Uh, obviously, for years and years, it's only been orange. Oh, look at that, even comes in green packet. There you go. That's, that's a dog that wants to go out. So, I think it's about time they started to change because the problem with the food industry is that it's always changing, which is a good thing. Uh, so, companies like Matt Vitti's and what have you, they need to evolve. They need to... Um, Get with a program for a better word. Um, try new ideas. I mean, they can take these lemon and lime orange, they can take it to a whole new dimension. Um, just a matter of the right marketing. Um, so, I mean, what they could do is do dark chocolate and ginger. No, I. Dark chocolate and ginger. Oh, heaven. Absolute fucking heaven. Now, right, okay. Don't s smell the chocolate, obviously. Don't know why I said that, because obviously if you can't smell chocolate when there's chocolate there, there's something fucking wrong, isn't, isn't there? Fuck off, fly. Okay, so let's go. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that. That is different. Oh, yeah. You can see that. A bit of gel, if that's so you can get it on my finger. A bit of gel there. That's where the flavour is from. And the best way to describe it is if you've ever had lime marmalade, which is really nice, absolutely gorgeous on a, on a, on a hot crumpet or hot toast. That's what it tastes like, like marmalade. No. Only downside to it is, if you look, at, if you look at that, you can see the raisinous there. 
that's been raised. And you think all that would be the, it's obviously the filling. But unlike the orange taffy cake, the orange tastes really orangey. This doesn't. Obviously, it doesn't taste orange juice. It won't fucking taste orange, would it? But you think it tastes. It does. T you can taste the lime. Some might say, "Well, I can taste lemon." It is, it is lemon and lime after all. But they're missing something. I think they're missing the uh, the acidity. Of the lemon and lime. Like when you bite into the orange, you can taste that acidity that's in the um, that's in the Jaffa orange that's in the original Jaffa cake. But this is missing the acidity. But it is still nice. This could be a bit more crunchier. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But would a, but what would a rush it? Sorry, just me a minute. Would I rush out and buy them again? Honest answer is no, I wouldn't. I'll stick with the original, the original Jaffa cake. It's nice, but it's missing that sharpness, that bit of tart. Um, it's missing that sharpness, and that's what it needs. That bit of sharpness, that bit, of, that bit of acidity. It's missing it, and that, and I think if it had that. But a bit of acidity in it. I'd be giving it so much, so much praise. I really would, but they need to go back to the drawing board, back to the development centre where they make all these and reinvent the ingredient to make it that little bit sharper. But that's my opinion. Right, talk about something else now. Now, for those that don't know, um, November 30th, it's a long way from now, I think it's a Saturday, I'm going to be boxing for charity in aid of Cancer Research UK um, by an event called Ultra White Colour Boxing Events. Now, there is a Fund me page on my Facebook um, or fundraising page, whichever that is, that explains all about it. Now, I started going to the gym. Uh, my mate Dave Campbell is going to be my new training partner, uh, which, which I start with him on thir this or oh, next Thursday, this Thursday coming. Which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but one thing that I am lacking is sponsorship. Now I'm sorry if I'm bringing this up again. But I didn't want to say this but I am going to say it. Okay. We all know someone. Whether it be a friend, relative, neighbour, work colleague. Someone who knew years back. We all know somebody. It was either fighting cancer, survived cancer, or sadly, like my uncle and my late mother-in-law, have died from cancer. We all know someone who has gone through cancer. It's a, it's an awful disease, really is. And together. We can raise money 
to fund research to finally one day get a cure of cancer and your money will help fund this research so please go onto my Facebook page uh, scroll down till you find read what I've got to say and please donate okay um, my target is £500 if I only raise 150 I'll be happy with that I really will um, £500 is my target it's not the target that's got to be risen that's just my target uh, so please please do sponsor me it's um, it's for a brilliant cause and I'm not doing this lightly I'm not doing this as a joke I'm doing this I'm actually training to box um, the reason why I've started so early is because we do get eight weeks training with a with a professional boxing coach but there's going to be people there who uh, might be in the late teens early 20s and it's eight weeks of intense training now I'm 48 years old so my body isn't going to recover quick enough okay if I for the, the next training session so um, as compared to a someone who, who, who's in the 20s whose body's going to recover almost immediately so I started the gym now so by the time I start my eight weeks intense training my body will be able to cope and it will recover because it'll be strong enough and it'll be fit enough especially with the help of Dave Campbell so please please do donate uh, like I said it's for a great cause um, and yeah that's it going on to a bit of a lighter note just a reminder 3rd of August is live night where we're doing a Facebook live review or vodka review there's going to be three of us doing different flavoured vodkas different with different mixes it's going to get messy we're going to get very moist um, but it's going to get messy and we're just going to talk shit if you want to send us questions to either one of us we'll answer as brutally and honest as we can uh, if you want a shout out let us know we'll give you a shout out uh, but for one particular person um, they are going to be pleasantly surprised for one particular person um, can't say who can't say why but they will find out on the 3rd of August uh, so keep watching um, there will be another review next week uh, once again don't know what it's going to be but we'll think of something um, anyone anybody want to give me any tips regarding training um, anything diet uh, what, what to eat uh, the best thing for um, are you enjoying that best thing for muscle growth what have you recovery let me know and we'll see what we can do uh, thank you for watching it's been a blast and um, see you all next week. Right, thank you. Bye.